So now I need to uh, speak of two uh, important things. Uh, first one is uh, that uh, for your uh, development and as a developer, uh, uh, especially for React, uh, you you need to use. Um, actually, don't need, but uh, it will make your life easier and will help you and save you a lot of time uh, which is an extension called react uh, developers so here's the extension so react developer tools I believe is uh, available at uh, Chrome store and also for uh, Firefox so uh, it helps us when we uh, inspect some some element in our DOM as you can see it's it's the basic DOM uh, structure uh, we have the root we have the root element and also we have the div uh, and inside it there's the navbar uh, and anchor and the basic stuff as you can see but if you can uh, if you need to see the react structure as you uh, you already uh, as you already uh, insert it inside your application you can uh, use the the react extension so here's the after installing the extension you will see a new tab in your uh, in your developers uh, window so here it is we have a navbar component and footer component also we have our wrapper which is the app component uh, also if you have any states and props for this uh, uh, for this component it will be it will appear here for uh, props and also for for the footer in our case we don't have any props and states so as you can see it's it uh, will help you uh, this extension also for uh, Redux, when we will use uh, Redux, we need to use an extension, and I really and highly recommend installing this extension, which is uh, Redux Dev Tools. So also it will be it would be available on uh, Chrome uh, Store and also for uh, Firefox. So I highly recommend installing those two. Uh, extensions so you can go ahead and install them uh, the second uh, the second the second point I want to talk uh, uh, in this video is uh, an overview of redux so what is redux redux is a state manager uh, in, for your for your components and for your app uh, you you have states so for example in our application we will uh, have some uh, search box and inside a uh, search box we have uh, a text so this text will be set into a state uh, about this uh, search box so uh, and this state will change uh, whenever the text changed so this is important because when we use uh, this text to call the API we need to insert the text uh, inside the URL so that's the point of using state uh, also when we call the API when we get the movies so in the movies we will have a movies state which will uh, receive the uh, info from the API and store it inside a state called movies also for the single movie we'll have uh, a movie state which will uh, have this single movie uh, info so those are all uh, our states of our application so to manage those states we use something called Redux so Redux 
basically is a state manager and to understand redux uh, in a simple way uh, you can imagine that we have our component which which has its own uh, state but in our application we have uh, the uh, app which will wrap all the components as you can see uh, all those components you can imagine that it's our application so the states in our application if something being dispatched if something being changed in our application so this will dispatch an action this action will change something will will change some values in, in our states so the state will be will be changed and will uh, uh, will pass the new state into our reducer something called reducer or uh, reducers so this the new states or the new values is not being uh, set to the state yet in in the action after the action it's a new values so the new values will be passed into the re or the reducer and inside the reducer those values will be set into uh, states so the state which being uh, changed will have a new value this value or the states will be uh, stored in a store uh, a store file so whenever uh, this uh, any state being changed or updated it will uh, automatically change in the store and automatically the store will pass the new state in our component so this is in a simple steps this diagram uh, explains how uh, how things goes on behind the scenes and uh, the redux uh, and the redux process so first uh, some change will dispatch an action and the action will uh, pass new values to the states the states will be set uh, depending on the new uh, values and the states the, the updated states will be passed into the, into the store and the updated states will be passed uh, from the store into our uh, into our application and to our components uh, that's an overview of Redux, I hope this explain something for you uh, to understand uh, the basic idea and the basic concept uh, of using Redux. So that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next video where we start set up our uh, Redux uh, re our Redux structure. Thank you.